This is Cisco Meraki MX64 security appliance and today I'm gonna add this to my network and do the basic setup to make sure it is online and ready to use. Cisco Meraki, as you might already know, is a division of Cisco systems. They're focused on cloud managed IT and networking solutions. So they have products like access points, security cameras, switches, and security appliances that are fully managed through the cloud. Network management is very important in order to make sure a computer network is working fine and it can get very complicated when networks get larger and larger because all those network devices need to be monitored for reliability, performance and security purposes. They might also need some configuration changes too. So traditionally, this has been a job of a professional network engineer or network administrator. And it is usually done with the help of some network management software and hardware. Now the cloud-based network management that Meraki uses is actually a centralized network management system to manage all the Cisco Meraki devices through a web-based platform called Meraki Dashboard. So this is basically how it's going to work. Uh, for example, let's say I have a couple of Cisco Meraki devices. Then all I need to do is to connect these devices to the internet. As soon as they have the internet connection, they're going to automatically connect to the Meraki cloud. Then I can log into my Meraki dashboard account and add these devices to my network and do the network configuration all through the Meraki dashboard account. And I don't necessarily have to be on site. I can be anywhere in the world. And as long as I have the internet connection, I can have access to my Meraki devices. So with this method, you don't necessarily need to be a professional network engineer to be able to do this because it is much simpler and much easier than the traditional way. So now back to our MX64 security appliance. First of all, let's see what a security appliance is. It is obviously a network security device and its main job is to be a firewall. So as a firewall, it will monitor and control the incoming and outgoing traffic to make sure the network is secure, which is good. But it is actually loaded with many other interesting features too. The MX64 that we're going to be looking at today is actually designed for a small branch office with maximum 50 clients. But as you can see, they have more powerful security appliances too. Today, I'll be focusing on connecting the MX64 to the network and to the cloud and make sure it is up and running and ready to use. But hopefully in the future, I'll talk about some of its features in more details and do some interesting projects with them. So if you are interested, definitely subscribe to the channel for that. Also, let me know in the comments below if there's anything in particular about this device that you want to see in more details. So maybe I can make a video on that too. Okay, so the MX64 looks nice. Its silver color actually gives it a distinctive look. It also feels sturdy, which is good. On the front, there's a multicolor LED status light, which we're going to talk about later. On the back, it has two dedicated WAN ports, one gigabit Ethernet and one USB. There are also four gigabit Ethernet LAN ports. LAN number four is actually dual purpose. It can be either LAN or WAN. All right, so before connecting the MX64 physically to the network, I'm going to first log into my Meraki dashboard account so I can create a new network and add the security appliance to that network. I already have an account, but if I don't, I can easily open one here. Okay, so I'm going to create a new network and call it Meraki Net. For the network type, since I'm adding a security appliance, I can either choose security appliance or combined hardware if I'm planning to add multiple types of Meraki hardware. For example, a security appliance, a switch, and an access point. I'm also going to click add devices so I can add the MX64 to the network as I'm actually creating the network. And I can add it by just typing its serial number. Okay, so this is the network I created, but as you can see, the MX64 is added, but it is offline and not connected to the cloud yet. 
But something I should keep in mind though is that all current Meraki devices require licensing to operate. I've already added my license, but if I want to add one, I can do it here. So now I'm going to power on the MX64 and use an Ethernet cable to connect its Internet port to my modem so it can have the Internet connection and register to the cloud. By default, the Internet port is actually in the DHCP mode. So basically, it's going to look for an IP address from the WAN connection, which in my case is going to be the modem. But if I need to assign a static IP address, then I will have to manually enter the IP address. That is actually something that I will talk about in the next video. Okay, so now it is connected to the modem. So I just need to wait for a little bit so it can receive an IP address and then register to the Meraki cloud. If the LED status light is solid orange, that means the device is powered on but not connected to the cloud. If it is cycling through rainbow colors, it is actually trying to connect to the cloud. If it is flashing white, it means it is updating its firmware. This is something that usually happens immediately after you connect it to the cloud for the first time. And finally, if it is solid white, it has successfully connected to the cloud. Alright, as you can see, the dashboard is now showing the MX64 is online and ready to be configured. But it is possible that for some reason, the MX just wouldn't connect to the cloud. In the next video, we're going to talk about how we can troubleshoot and resolve that problem. Alright, the MX64 is online and connected to the cloud and ready to be configured. So basically in this video, we did the basic setup for the security appliance so it can register to the Meraki cloud. But I'm gonna continue this series and talk about more features in more details. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel for the upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.